We have found ourselves in a predicament. <laughs> this, these lines are going so slow. Oh, no, look at the van. It's oh. Oh. We were in that line, and this line opened up, and I'm like, I'm gonna go over there. And so I bolt over there, and I look up, and it says low clearance, 6'6". Six, six. Oh boy. I don't know if we're 6'6". Six, six. No, we're fine. It seems like we'd be under 6'6". Six, six. We're gonna find out. Right here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see that 6'6 six, six until the last minute. You need a mat? No. Yeah. Thank you. So that 13-6 sign, as you come into the West Glacier entrance, actually to the National Park, and then if there's, you go to the campground, the West Glacier campground, RV resort, that's on your left. If we had the momentum and saw a sign that said 13-6, we would pause for a minute, but yes. you should know that you're fine because there's plenty of big fifth wheels, momentums, and things like that. They go back here. Uh, so I think that sign is just a, a wee bit conservative. But, um, wait, is it straight here? But this is where we stayed last time, and Trish says she likes it over here because you got the village here, and you got the ice cream, and you're right outside the park entrance. So what did you say? Make you kind of feel like? I just feel like I'm on a trip. Like, and there's a bunch of hustle bustle, and there's a little nature path where you can walk to go get ice cream. I mean, like, yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> no, it was fun. We had a great time here last time, and um, one of the reasons we wanted to stay at the KOA is because we heard that the KOA is so nice, and it is. It is. Um, and it's not that far away. It's about five minutes up the road, and uh, there's lots of amenities there. You know, adult jacuzzi and music at night, and an outdoor bar and all Air that sort of stuff. Night. Wow, look at this, you got a bike stand out and everything. I can tell I'm gonna get my butt kicked again. Well, you know, <laughs> a properly lubricated chain of speed, Mark. <laughs> and a different bike? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one's at home. Uh, what do you got, so we're both on gravel bikes? Yeah, this is just gravel bike. Oh, that's good, that'll slow you That'll slow you down a mile and a half per hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, show me the back of the truck. What do you got back there? But all of our uh, mountain bikes. Yeah. Holy smoke. So, it's a feat of engineering to get everything in here. Yeah. But we get it in here. The nice thing about this is it doesn't get just roasted on the road. Yeah. You know, even yesterday, it was a pretty nice day. Our bikes are hammered. A tiny little bit of rain. Yeah. And you got an hour's worth of work. Well, I don't do that work, so I just... <laughs> well, Caleb has an hour's worth of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the fastest one. Oh, yeah. That looks yeah. good. That looks good. Maybe next time we do a ride, you should bring, like, a beach cruiser or something. Yes. Yes. Yeah, That's that a great be, idea. Yeah. We're... That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be... Well, what if I dropped you then? <laughs> What do you think of that view? There's all the huckleberries. All right, not a bad spot. So, what do you think? Is it living up to your expectations? Pretty. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Well, we did it again. Hey, look who we found at the top. What are you yeah. doing? We did a three mile hike. Yeah. We could have gone even further, uh -huh. but we got the most epic view. Yeah. It was gorgeous. I guess I no, I, 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 I will say, you don't have enough layers on. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. not joking. So what do you think your temperature is right now? It totally oh, it was 40 what? when we parked. It's, it's got to be like, it's got to be like 30 something right now. It's, it's freezing. It's colder up there. Is it? Yeah. No. It's freezing. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely freezing. Um, All right. So you had a good time though? We did. We had a blast. Yeah. So 
excited on the <laughs> Hey, don't be eyeballing yeah. my, my... No, I'm not. Yeah, you're going to go that way? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I guess the... I guess the water leak on the Airstream took no consideration of it being my birthday. Can you believe that? Here's what I think happened. I think all those roads that we were complaining about a few episodes ago, if you recall, when we went through Lower Lewis and we went through the backside of Rainier, there were some there were some potholes that we hit that the camera wasn't running when we hit them, but they were big and loud. And I thought to myself, that had to have caused damage. Well, here it is. Caleb was taking a shower and when he took the shower, water was pouring out. Surefire light and a towel. The towel is kind of necessary because this is kind of gross. You know, you just kind of cross your fingers that it's gray water, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, I look like the more I'm over here having a conversation with myself to anybody watching. I'm like, who's that guy? Who's that guy talking to? <laughs> okay, oh, this is helpful. Oh, yeah. There. Yeah, keep it on. Let it run. Let it run. Confession time. Did you set up the sewer hose because you took a shower and then you realized that it was filling up inside the shower pen? No, I, well, I set up the thing because I was gonna go take a shower and it was filled up with water. It was filled up with water. Filled okay, up. so that's why. Oh, well that's good news. Yeah. Overall, that is good news. Yeah. Okay, and the only reason you didn't pull, no, 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 keep it on, because I want to confirm this. I'm gonna start talking to everybody like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so just in case you didn't catch all that, the gray was full because when we arrived, um, we had some meetings so that we wanted to hop on. So I didn't really set up the, the sewer hose, even though I kind of wanted to because I knew we'd be here the whole week. So I knew I, I would need to do it anyway. And we had been dry camping, so we were kind of full. And then um, I didn't hook it up. And then Caleb. I took a shower for a couple days and Trish took a shower for a couple days and then Caleb took a shower so our, our gray got full, filled up to 100%. And then he tried to hook up the sewer hose but he said there was something about a leak so he didn't do it. So all that happened is the, the gray water started exceeding the tank and at that point it probably started over filling and leaking out the bottom. So it's not an actual leak. I mean, it might not, that might not be good. I don't know if that's how it's designed but it's, it's not leaking anymore. I just had to get almost completely wet to figure that out but at least it's not a major repair because that would have been go bad. <sighs> okay. Tell okay. everybody what's going on. Listen, Glacier is amazing. The hikes are stunning. The views are out of this world, but there's also an adorable town called Whitefish right next mm -hmm. door. So we got to go check out Whitefish. There's a couple of restaurants I want to tell you about and um, you're going to get a haircut. Table. I didn't even see the little table. I know, it's incognito style. There's a little bench over there, but. Okay, what did you get? Tell everyone what you got. Okay, we got a beef au jus uh, sandwich. Oh, wow. And we have a um, smoked pulled chicken, mm. but it doesn't stop there. Like, oh my there's God. It's like special mayonnaise yes. and special toppings, and the bread is homemade. It's just, it's so good. And this place closes like, like tomorrow, tomorrow for the season. But when okay. it's in season, you have to come. And you came here with Tori last time? I've come here with <laughs> Victoria. I've come here with Arson. <laughs> Everyone but me. Yes, so now it's your turn. Okay, good. Yes. What is this? What are you this laughing at? This is insane. Look at this. Oh my it's gosh. gorgeous. Yes. Ooh, wow. Definitely splittable. Splittable? Splittable. Sweater weather? Sweater weather. Were those like potatoes inside there? I think so. a very rainy day and a lot of times we'll get emails from people that say what do you guys do on rainy days well we work I know Tyler and his family they're over there doing school work so ideally and this doesn't always work but ideally we would have enough time somewhere where when rain occurs which almost every destination it does we can just kind of move things around when do we work when do we hike when do we do stuff like that so today because it's raining 
We worked all day. We sent Caleb down to True Value to get some a space heater because it's cold and I, we can't find our space heater. That's a quick tip. The furnace can sometimes dry out the entire rig. And so we'll, we'll get a single space heater and we'll put it here in the middle of the rig and it just kind of like takes the edge off of it being cold. It only works when you got full hookups. And so that helps. So we're, we're seeing he's getting a, a, a floor mat and a space heater. And then, um, and then you probably got, you know, finding our someday, Corey and Jesse, we've hung out with them several times at NASCAR. Uh, plus when we uh, dodged Hurricane Matthew, we went up to Portland, Maine. I got a message from Corey that said, hey, if you guys are ever in Glacier for the next two weeks, hit us up. And I'm like, we're here right now. So we're gonna get together with them tomorrow to go hiking. I think we're gonna do Avalanche Lake. And then KOA has been super cool. Uh, toward the end of the season now, there's been availability. So we extended out two more days here gonna be partly sunny tomorrow and sunny on Saturday. So that's kind of the update from Glacier. I got the goods. Okay, good. I got the mat, Ooh. I got the heater. You ready? Watch yes. this perfect fit. Hashtag Tetris. Oh, Boom. That's what I like. That's what I like. Gary, the owner of True Value, he told me that like he was in the Insiders yep. and there's all these comments about, you know, which space heater is the best. Yeah. And he said, well, a plug can only take 1500 watts. Yeah. So they're all kind of the same. Yeah. It's just how you want the heat dispersed, really. Sure, and then the one I liked about this is it had thermostat so that we could turn it to like 55 so it's not on all the night. That's what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's wet. Charlie! All right. Oh, that's nice. Charlie. Oh, it doesn't have a thermostat. It just has it just has a min-max knob. Oh, no, no, I think it'll work. Ooh, I love that smell of the fresh heater. Oh, no, 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 it's a heater, which means it has to, you see? Nice to see you too. I can't believe you guys are here at the same time. I know. This is awesome. It's awesome. So cool. Super cool. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? You forgot hey. to turn the heater on again. Good to see you. <laughs> I know. Oh, Good yeah. to see you. Hey. What's going on? Good to see you. Corey, I'm Shannon. Nice to meet you, Shannon. Yeah. Caleb. Caleb. Nice All to right, meet you. Caleb. <laughs> I'm Clara. I'm Clara. Nice to meet you. She's sick. Restroom? No. Okay. Lake? Okay. Lake. Yes. <laughs> we were just making sure you guys were all on board to Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's the bar? Where's Brie? Here's a buck. Oh, a buck. Or what's the girl? A doe. A doe. Let it still be real. How about a round of applause to the setting sun? Let us dance away without getting anything done. Are we here? Is this the lake? Yes. Ta da! Wow! That didn't take any time at all. This is it! This like is it. We made it. It's gorgeous. It was rolled with all the talking and. It went super fast. It went super fast. We had wildlife, great conversations, and now three waterfalls. Yes. Listen, when we were in Capitol Reef, I tried to be like you with my GoPro. Yeah. And I'm like, Hey GoPro! No, no response. Well, take a photo. Hey GoPro! Trish is like, it's not working. No, Corey makes this work. Hey GoPro! Hey! You! No, no, it's not gonna go. I was hoping that Corey would give me a tutorial on how the GoPro works. What do you do here? I just heard a request. Oh, you're not even gonna try it first? I know it won't work. GoPro, take a photo. <laughs> no! No! He's the whisperer. No! Is this it? This is it. This is the end of the line. This is the magic right here. 
It's not really, it's just the other side of the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Caleb let me borrow his jacket today, and uh, I'm ready to layer up. Let's go. You can't <laughs> my kid took my extra layer. <laughs> you can see the backside of leaves. It's not a good sign. Yeah, I know. It's time to, time to roll it's time out. Time to roll out. Charlie, sleeping on What are you bed. doing? Why are you sleeping, boy? Oh, there he is. Here's the boy. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> it's been so long. Hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, he says, I gotta say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. You know what I love the most about traveling with you, Corey, when we connect? <laughs> you get my drum footage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say your generosity. Uh, okay. So if you recall, when we were in the bird and we were on NASCAR and you got this amazing shot of the bus going right across the finish line. That's Corey's shot. Or, or not a drone shot, but but footage nonetheless. Or when we were uh, dropping off the bus to the museum, all the drone footage when we dropped it off. To Corey's footage. Uh, is there? Uh, oh, uh, when we were leaving Portland, Maine, or not near Portland, but up in Maine, when we were leaving through the neighborhood like that, and we ended. Corey's oh, yeah. footage. Yeah. yeah. So thank you very much. And even what you're looking at right now, Corey's footage. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. The generosity of this man. <laughs> <laughs> But always not. Right. <laughs> oh, beautiful. If you bring if you bring the ice in, I'll make you a margarita. Oh, I will get you ice. <laughs> what do you got going on in here? Um, I got I'm playing um I feel like I'm in the Olympics, the tiny kitchen Olympics. <laughs> and today what we're doing is we're making multiple side dishes mm -hmm. um, in, I don't know, what is that, 24 inches? Yeah. Something like mm -hmm. that. Anyway, so I'm gonna make a little salad. We already pre-made the meat. We're just having like super basic taco dinner. Yeah. But um, it's a blast. We'll show everybody what you have going on here. You got the Instant Pot working? Well, I pre-made it on the stove, okay. but it's just heating in the Ah, oven. so you're using it as like a crock pot kind of. Yeah, like keep like it hot. And then- You got some queso going. Queso here. Yep. And then we're gonna get some rice going, and then once the rice is done, we'll be ready to eat. Okay. Oh, so and you already made your for. salsa. What is it? Made that? a little coleslaw. You so, made that this morning though, right? Yes, made that this morning. Let it sit for a little bit. Boom. It's a real professional oh, job right there. Well, wow. have you eaten here before? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I saw it salted. Yeah, that's what I've got right now. I'm like, I'm roasting. Is, is that? Is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, we haven't played mafia yet. I know. I. I. We're. It's happening. Chewing on. <laughs> Charlie. Okay. That was like the best it. marshmallow I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. So that was we'll discreetly pass the cards around and then you will look to see if you are the cop, the mafia, or a uh, townsperson. Civilian. <laughs> civilian. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tyler is dead. Oh. No! Dun, dun, dun. Wait, if you're the narrator? I'm the narrator. So there's no way you did it? No. <laughs> After he. Like killed you on the hill. Like, you guys are I know, I'm just saying. Oh. But you, okay. You're also on the ride. I was also on the ride. But isn't that what the killer wants you to think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you just vote me out without saying anything, then you just wasted one of your chances, and you don't have very many. You should have worn that out who the real murderer because is. Because you can hear it so well when you point. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally. I, 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 look, look, like, okay. All right, sit down and then. Point. Okay. Arm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh Keep me out. See what happens to your civilization. See what happens. Uh, all right. All in favor of killing. No. You know what? I hate this game. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When did I ever refuse an accommodation? I hope that they could come here and race it again. And as a reasonable man, I'm willing to do what I was necessary to find a peaceful solution to this problem.
today is September 25th and the this RV park closes I think September 30 or the end of the month end of September so we're on the shoulder season clearly and this RV park is pretty much empty and today's a, a Sunday so as I look around here I think man glacier although you do risk that it could start snowing here but the shoulder season has been awesome I think the weather's been great it's been warm during the day cool at night We've extended our time here two extra nights, which we wouldn't ever be able to do in the middle of the summer. Just getting a reservation is pretty hard. So uh, I think I think it's a great place to be for on the shoulder season. Anyway, so we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to Bozeman now. Just pulled over on the side of the highway, use a little restroom, use the Airstream, our traveling bathroom. Probably the best thing about RVing is being able to tow your bathroom. That was like the first real awakening of RV travel when we were brand new and we had to go to the bathroom. We pulled over and used our own bathroom. It was like, I, I, I think in that moment, we fell in love with RV travel. Neat. Oh, the trees look beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Let's make some food. Yeah. 